To communicate with the PECAX, you will need a serial connection. In a previous video, I explained how to make that cable. Here you're going to see where to make those connections. On the board, let me get the right tool here. On our board, we have three connections. As explained in the previous video, we need a receive, a transmit, and a signal ground. And on the board, you'll have a three pin connector. Let me go ahead and just adjust a couple of things here. All right, this should work a little better. Helps when you put some other color than black on black. So you'll have a three pin connector. It should be labeled R, T, and G. The R for our receive, T for our transmit, and G for our signal ground. So if you remember, we have pins two, three, and five. Pin three was our transmit data. Pin two was our receive data. And pin five was our signal ground. So they would be connected in this fashion. So from pin three of our DB9, we would get connected to this pin here, the one with the R, because that's our receive. We want our transmit connected to our receive. And then likewise, our receive from our computer would get connected to our transmit. And of course, our signal grounds have to be connected together. So you would take your pin 3, 2, and 5 and connect it to these three here.